shouldn't be allowed to be together. <laughs> That's probably going to be the first thing they could like on. Just so you guys know, I was talking about these pillows back here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I this can't. is the first time that Pascal and I have filmed together in a while. Um, so clearly we can't <laughs> handle this responsibility anymore. Hello and Hello. welcome to the Pascal and Piper show. I'm Piper. I'm Pascal. And we hope you're having a marvelous Monday. Happy President's Day. Um, hopefully some of you guys got today off so you can I be... did not. Yeah, I sorry if you're Pascal and you had to go to class. Um, I don't have classes on Monday, so it didn't <laughs> affect me whatsoever. Um... But yeah, if you did have the day off, I hope that you were able to, you know, relax a little bit, maybe do something fun, stay warm because it's quite chilly today. Um, but if you had to go to school, I hope you had a good day at school. Okay, so before we get into anything too deeply, let's roll our little intro. Let's roll it. Beep. this is for make sure you tune into next monday's facebook live woo woo. it's pretty exciting but that's not what today's video is about today's video is about world thinking day woo, woo. Because, which is tomorrow on tuesday the 22nd of 222 my mom is wearing tutus <gasps> that's right. and she has a shirt that says i'm teaching on a tuesday for like two because it's tuesday <laughs> And they got matching shirts at her school and tutus, and she's excited. That's super cool. I hope if she shows you a picture, I want to see the picture because that's super cute. But how cool is it like that? The day tomorrow? Anyways, see, you're going to get me off. It's going to happen again in 33. So a whole oh, yeah. 10, oh, 11, 11 years. years 11 now, years. It's going to happen again. So it'll be the but it March won't be, 3rd. It won't be 333, three, three, like, because there's no 33rd day. Of, <laughs> so it'll be 033. Zero, we zero, just get three. we get rid of April and we just keep counting. <laughs> <laughs> that seems really crazy to think about. Like 11 years from now? Yeah. Why? That's wild. Anyways. I'll be so old. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be. You'll be 42 <laughs> forever, <laughs> forever 42. Anyways, today is World Thinking Day, and Pascal talked about World Thinking Day with her troop the other day, so she's pretty much going to lead what today's video is yeah. about. <laughs> go, Pascal. So we're going to go through some history, and then we're going to do some exciting things that I didn't even know about until I caught it with my troop, which I thought was interesting. Already. 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 <laughs> so we're going to do World Thinking Day history in three parts. So this is part one. It's called A Special Day. In 1926, Girl Scouts and Girl Guides from around the world met in the United States for the Fourth World Conference. At the meeting, they created a special day where Girl Scouts and Girl Guides think of each other and express their thanks for their sisters around the world. They called it Thinking Day. They chose February 22nd because it was the birthday of both 
Lord Baden Powell, the founder of Boy Scouts, and his wife, Olive Baden Powell, who founded the Girl Guides. Um, this is part two, a birthday gift. In 1932, at the Seventh World Conference in Poland, a delegate from Belgium pointed out that since a birthday usually involves gifts, girls should show their appreciation on Thinking Day by offering gifts to support Girl Scouts and Girl Guides around the world. Olive Baden Powell wrote a letter asking girls to send a penny with their thoughts on Thinking Day. And then this part is that how World that started? Thinking Day. Yeah, that's how it like that's how that term started i don't know how the term started well now i need to know search it up online <laughs> okay part three is world thinking day in 1999 at the 30th world conference in ireland they changed the name from thinking day to world thinking day over the years world thinking day has become a way for girls to learn about issues that affect other girls and young women all over the world Every year, World Thinking Day has a different theme that Girl Scouts and Girl Guides around the world can learn about and take action on. For 2022, the theme is Our World, Our Equal Future, the Environment, and Gender Equality. This means you'll explore how climate change is harder for girls and women, which I thought was kind of interesting. And then it talks about the World um, Trefoil Pin. pin. Which I thought was interesting. So you have these pins on your vest. vest. Um, that go on it's the... on this side, your left side. Yeah. It's on your left side. I had it on my vest. It's the different color. Hold one. on. Look up the vest. Yeah, I'm going to screen share, but you keep talking about it. So it's on this side. It's the weird looking pin that's kind of like a rectangle, <laughs> but it has a point. And it has two pins connected, but then it's a pin itself that you pin on you. Mm -hmm. It has like a million pins. Yeah. I tend a lot. I used to lose mine all the time because it would come undone. And yeah. it would just fall. Yeah, and this I was pin. like, that's rude. Right here. Yes. So um, I didn't know what it meant. So I'm. Just go down to that page, huh? So they could follow along with Yeah. You. I didn't know what it meant. So I thought it was interesting. Um, So the colors are blue and gold and yellow. Um, the background, it's the background of the elements represent the sun shining down on all the children of the world. I thought that was interesting. That's cute. And then the vein is a compass needle pointing the way. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, yeah I, I never knew this. I just thought it was just some random teardrop looking thing. <laughs> um, the two stars represent the promise and law, a philosophy shared by all members. Um, the flame symbolizes eternal love for humanity. The three trefoil leaves represents the three folds of the promise to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Um, the flowing borders show we are worldwide and a growing movement. So that's the whole pin. And then they have a flag. I feel like we should have this flag. Like, come on, people. But we might. We just we don't might. know. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's so interesting. But it's the background. That was scary. The that background was. is blue to represent the sky, and then the... Sorry, uh, we're filming at my angry. house, and this, there was a weird noise, and um, now my dog. The golden orange squares on the flag represent the three pro um, parts of the promise, and the white in the corner is a symbol for the worldwide peace that all guides and Girl Scouts use in their families, communities, and the wider world. So That's I cool. thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know about yeah. you. No, it's, it's pretty cool. So this document that um, we're sharing the screen and that Pascal is reading from, um, I have it linked in our link tree if you would like to see it. And I just Googled World Thinking Day 2022. So if you don't want to use that. Yes, but it's there's, quite different, easy to find. Um, there's different steps that you can do to earn the, a patch. It's a patch. Um, there's like the first step is explore World Thinking Day. And then they give you like three options on how to do that. The second step is find out what climate change is. And there's options to do that. The third step is explore climate change issues. And then um, step four is investigate why trees need protection. And then step five is commit to a better future with the Girl Scout Tree Promise. Um, I did it in 2021. I have to re-sign for 2022. But it's just oh. you plant a tree, one at least one tree. Mm -hmm. Anywhere. Yeah. 
2021, I planted four trees. Ooh. I planted a mango tree. And then it died tragic. Is that I the tree? I planted a lemon like... tree, but it's still alive. I planted a lime tree. It's still alive. And I planted a, a dragon fruit tree. What's the but tree? But it's more like a cactus, so I don't know if that counts. <laughs> What's the tree that you want that you planted and then you couldn't get it from Home Depot anymore? The mango tree. It wasn't the mango tree. Okay, so I've been <laughs> my mango tree died because so it didn't die from the the hot weather, it died from the cold weather, which I thought was <laughs> so stupid because my house gets so hot, it gets like 120. And, and it didn't the die humidity from that. Is disgusting. It died from the cold weather. But also, we had, like, 10 mangoes, and I watched them for days. Like, I would go out there and be like, oh, my gosh, look at this mango. And I make my dad go out there and look at this mango. And then the wind came, and it knocked all the mango. Like, it took all the mangoes <laughs> away, and it was tragic. It was not funny. I'm I don't so know why you're sorry. laughing. The wind <laughs> blew away my mango. Did you watch it happen? No. Oh, we because inside. That, that's what I'm imagining happened. Just imagine going. It's <laughs> just like a wind. We took shoot. the mangoes away and they fell off. It was so tragic. I'm but we still have our mangoes. lemon tree. It's been there five years. That's cool. Not one ma- lemon. Um, <laughs> we have our lime tree. It's been there a year. Not one lime. And we have our dragon fruit tree, and that's pretty that's that's going good, guys. Good. So, At least one of them's producing but, um, fruit. But if you put um so the tree promise is you sign this paper and you plant at least one tree, and they want to get like a million people to sign it so that there's a million trees planted. That's their goal. Trees are important for our environment. Trees are important. Anything else about trees? Is that about it? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, we invite you to, you know, talk. This is just like a little intro to hopefully the discussions that you'll be having with your troop or your families at home. Um, Definitely look more into the Girl Scout Tree Promise. Look into World Thinking Day. Look at what one tree can do for your area. Oh, that's cool. I think that's interesting because you think, okay, trees make paper and wood. But then you have to think, okay, they make pencils. Trees are really important. Yeah. They also give off oxygen. They give off oxygen. Breathe. They give shade. So if you don't have air conditioning, you're safe there. They also save you from like wind. Like if it's like super windy and you have a tree, it'll kind of stop the wind so it doesn't attack you. But you also have to be careful it doesn't fall on you. It's a whole process. It's a whole process. But it's interesting to think about trees. Like they make like your house they make paper pencils they make colored pencils what no colored it's pencils. really important but i just love that you're listing the pencils well um, because nobody thinks okay pencils because everybody has mechanical pencils now i'm sure i don't have mechanical pencils i can't stand them but i have normal whoa pencils. i have both i use both but nobody thinks about that. And then color pencils. No, we, we use trees for a lot of things. It's important that we continue to plant trees. Yeah. Um, on that note, because trees aren't what we were talking about. is a part of it, but not the main thing. Um, we hope that you guys all have a great World Thinking Day. Um, let us know if you do anything fun with your troop to talk about it. We'd love to know. And, yeah, we'll see you on Wednesday for a craft. We're super excited about that. And I think that's pretty much it. Stay safe, stay warm, stay hydrated. Bye. Bye.